be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm actually going to be going over how to mix your 808s in Logic Pro 10. To demonstrate that, I'm going to be taking one of my older beats and just kind of like showing you a few tips of what you could do. Now the first tip I'm going to give you is to level um, your beat out the right way or just get the proper levels. Now you might be asking if you're brand new how do we do that. I'm going to show you all real quick what you could do. Now first things first, I have like this track here. It's already pretty much ready to go as far as like the like mixing part of it. Um, and what you want to do is you want to start off with that 808 first. So um, turn everything down and then I just hold, go ahead and hold down option and push click on the 808 it's going to take it to nominal gain and for the most part you can just let it go right here make sure it's coming in pretty clean all right cool so that 808 is coming in clean i really don't use eq on the actual 808 um i feel like if i have to do that i might as well pick another 808 that's the type of you know mindset that i have on it so i really don't you know what i mean do any EQ and on the 808 but the next thing I'm gonna tell you to do is to use EQ and after you get the proper levels to make room for the 808 and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that so this is the frequency range chart okay basically we hear between 20 Hertz and 20,000 Hertz on the frequencies range obviously the lower the number here that's gonna be the lower the Hertz the higher the number higher the Hertz these are higher sounds like you know high pitch stuff and then this is low pitch stuff okay so the 808 is gonna you know really be sitting around under 500 db and lower okay so with the peak of an 808 usually hitting around like between you know 50 and 100 hertz most 808s okay so you have this all of this 808 coming through the frequency range chart what you want to do to make you know mix it is make room for it um, in the mix of the other instruments. So, so we have this B here and have a lot of different stuff in here. So let's start bringing some other like melody in. So for instance, I have this like weird synth sound. So I'm gonna bring that in. So this is a uh, one of one part one of the parts of the melody. So I'm kind of bringing it in, as you can see when I'm talking about levels, I had it still like really at the top and then I just kind of mid. Enough so you can actually hear it, but not enough so it's overtaking this 808. Um, jumping back to the frequencies, um, if you look at it over here, I already pretty much just used a high pass filter and cut out some of the lows on these. Uh, this is like a cloudy synth. If I was to take that off, like just turn off the 808 on um, the, the synth on this, not the synth, excuse me, the equalization on this. That's what it sounds like without it. You kind of can see how you can still hear this instrument, but also clearly hear the 808. And the trick is to use the EQ to take off the high, the, the, some of the lows, but still maintain the depth of that, that sound. So like right here, this sound is too thin now. So it's basically taking away enough of the lows to where you can still maintain the quality of the instrument, but still open up some room for that 808. Same difference with these other sounds. So it took out a little bit of lows, like maybe put out some too much, let's see. 
and pretty much what you'll do is just keep on going down the list here um and I, i've already done a lot of that but let's just kind of get some of the war levels all right so these are like a bass pad sound same difference here took away some of the uh, lows on that And you want to just basically take the time to kind of listen back and forth and see, is this sound, like, can I still clearly hear this sound and this 808, you know what I'm saying, after I EQ it? Yeah, it'll start to get a little easier to, to hear, you know, as you do it more, but... We'll put that stuff together. cool so you kind of get those two concepts now i'm gonna start bringing up some of the other instruments um when it comes to like clap and snare and stuff like that i really just kind of tuck it under there to where it's loud enough but it's not like overtaking the 'll put out a few more things here like say on the clap I still did a little bit of subtractive EQ took out some frequencies there same thing with the snare um, hi-hat just kind of show you, you know that's I'm just basically using those two techniques leveling getting the proper levels and basically using subtractive EQ to basically mix my 808 pretty much all the stuff is about the 808 so Basically, y'all, uh, y'all can kind of hear the 808 here, um, super still clear, and also hear all the instruments, and that's basically done through leveling and subtractive EQing. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, go to my website, beatmakingbasics.com. Check out our beat making bundle. Check out all of our courses and sound kits and mixing tips and stuff like that. It'll help you as well in the long run for sure. And appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Y'all have a nice day. I'll see you in the next one.